folks, Flipknot here. Today I'm heading over to Castry Deli again to get me a Reuben sandwich. I actually ordered it ahead this time, which means it's guaranteed to be there. Hopefully, <laughs> I already paid for it too. So basically, I'm just gonna go grab the sandwich and go find a nice spot to eat it, and just kind of do a recount of what happened this year. It's been, it's been, it's been absolutely crazy for me. This has been a year of the highest highs and the lowest lows. Starting off with getting hit by a car, but because I got hit by a car, I got the Bonneville I always wanted. And then I get this awesome rad deal with Bert Harley Davidson where they let me borrow all these motorcycles, but I no longer ride my Bonneville because I have other motorcycles that I don't get to keep that I gotta give back. So I have a weird anxiety about it where I have to get the most I can out of it because the Bonneville's gonna be here tomorrow and this probably won't been a strange year guys now in no way at all am i complaining about the deal that i have with Bert charlie davidson i'm just honestly in somewhat shocked that it even happened to begin with it was just a dumb conversation of hey let me borrow a live wire thinking that there's no way in hell they would ever let me borrow a live wire i had like 12,000 subscribers when i first brought that up i was just being a jerk being funny but through that deal i got to live lifetimes on motorcycles that people would never have the ability to i've got to go through more motorcycles in this year than most people will in their lifetimes in general all right here's cash really gonna grab my sandwich be right back what's going on yes sir yes sir thank you sir All right, back to the conversation at hand. Uh, I probably can't even name half the motorcycles that I rode this year while riding and not knowing anything about it beforehand. And of course, I can't really talk about this year without talking about the one thing that has affected literally every single person on this planet. It's the COVID situation, the pandemic that's going on. It's not affected a handful of people or it's literally affected every single person on this earth. And everybody has their own thing. Everybody has their own problems with it. Some people dealt with it better than others. And everybody's problem is their problem to deal with. So it's not really something that I feel that I need to say mine was a boo-hoo different situation and the worst situation. My situation wasn't bad, it wasn't good. Uh, the, the, it has raised a lot of anxiety in my life just being around too many people. And you see me in videos being around people, but I'm around my people. I'm around the people that I'm around all the time. When I go in the bar, I sit in my corner with the people that I know and when it starts to get too busy, I leave. It seems like I'm not being affected by it. It seems like I'm not scared of it, but I am. It's it's not a fun situation and it's something that, maybe it isn't something that's as dire as it seemed when it first happened, but it's still serious. One of my best friends, my best friend in LA, Justin got it recently and he's just, you know, he, he didn't have to go to the hospital. It wasn't deadly, but he said it was not a fun situation. And with the vaccine out, Maybe next year we can all start going back to a normal situation and being a little bit more normal of things and just maybe reassessing what the idea of the word normal means anymore. How about that? Let's do that. Because my daily norm is not what it was 365 days ago. It's been a hell of a year, man. And then the way that people clock a year, New Year's, January 1st, I typically don't do that personally. I typically clock a New Year as in my birthday. It's a new year for me. It's my 365 days around the sun. I understand that there's logistical things that I have to remember about general New Year. Writing paperwork changes, which is typically the most important part of that. G generic January 1st is not a big thing in my mind. It's hard to miss, you know, as, as a bartender in a previous life. It's always been a big deal. It's always been a good money-making night, and that's all it ever was. My New Year's have always been on my birthday. So it's hard to sit here and have that whole, like, New Year's resolution thing where it's like, it's a new year, new me, yeah! You know, people say that all the time, and it's, what was your excuse 365 days ago? You haven't changed. You've probably been more ingrained in your own stubbornness than you were before. All right, the picnic table seems to be open. Let's go eat. 
So I got the Reuben. I always get a Reuben. Homemade pastrami. It's a good sandwich. It's a little pricey. And nothing beats Castelli. So last year I gave myself a goal of 52 weeks in a year. Can't be impossible to make 52 videos. 365 days a year, 52 of those days I need to make a video. I'm getting distracted by all the kids and their new Christmas presents. Here they come. It's only $4,000 worth of freaking toys. But I gave myself a goal and a task of 52 videos in 365 days. It does not seem hard. Pretty sure that I exceeded that. I know I've made over 60 this year, especially since like July or August. I started going to two videos a week instead of one. It's a surprising, it's a surprising amount of work to make a 10 minute video once a week, much less two 10 minute videos twice a week. But I did it. I'm proud of myself for that one. There's also the sheer fact that I'm having a conversation with a camera and there's everybody around me. It's, that's pretty amazing. I don't know, man. It's been a year. It's been a crazy, crazy year. That was a giant hunk of fat. So through the motorcycle accident and COVID, getting hit by a car, being stuck in bed for a month, and then being quarantined for two, my stamina has just bottomed out. Eating too much, gained a lot of weight. Between not moving much and quitting smoking, that didn't help for anything. So for as much as I want to sit here and be like, I'm gonna start exercising and lose weight. That is in there. Just one of those that I can't, like, this is one of those proclamations you can't make. Just like, I'm gonna start, it never works out for me. I hope to, I want to, I need to. It's like one of the biggest promises I've tried to make in myself that I really need to hurry up and do something about is, I'm gonna go talk to somebody. Demons are coming back and they're getting louder. I'm gonna go see somebody. Hopefully get on some antidepressants and see if that helps for anything. It's, it's been 20 years of denying it. Maybe it's time to just, I prefer good stories. Can't say I was super impressed by that sandwich. That was, yeah, probably not going back there again. Let's call it a day, it's good. Lunch is over, let's get back on the pike. trying to be a bummer there in this whole video it's kind of been a hard year for everybody again but there is that vaccine and it seems to have a uh, new light at the horizon for everybody and hopefully 2021 is a way better year than 2020 was although you know the bar is not high to uh beat on that one i usually have a saying like the best part about rock bottom is there's no you can't get any lower all you have is up been there a few times <laughs> yeah i don't know man been a, it's, it's been a again it's, it's been the best and the worst year for me ever lost friends i've made friends youtube channels doing okay i guess still haven't had any hot cocoa that makes me a little mad yeah i still haven't had any hot cocoa this year even though today's like the first like cold day we've had I'm currently at <clears throat> which we are currently at 54 degrees it was the coldest Christmas on record in Florida in over a decade. I don't know, folks. I feel like there's been a lot of conversation that's probably gonna get cut out. I feel like there's been a lot of awkward pauses that are probably gonna get cut out. So, hell if I know how long this video is gonna be, but this is probably where I'm gonna end it. I'm probably not gonna come back to next year either. I'm probably gonna take the week off, see if I can't get my head back together. Ooh, puppy. Boxers. Love boxers. Let's go ahead and call it a year. Thanks for coming along with me this year. Thanks for everybody who subscribed. Thanks to everybody who's been a Patreon. Thanks to my friends who have just been great friends and have like helped me out through everything I've been through. Kept my head up as much as I can. It's a heavy head to keep up. Through all the great people I've met this year. Gunner from Burt Charlie Davidson. Burt's from Burt Charlie Davidson. Weems from Weems Motor Co. Dave from Fallen Angels great people that I've met this year. And for the last time in 2020, folks, 
You know how this works. Do not forget to like this video. Do not forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you all on the flip side.